is near to those who call him in truth and grant their request of those who fear him. Amen. Amen. Let us sing Presbyterian hymn number PA 12. One to five. Oh, ni a 
We do sins against God in so many ways. 
let us in humility tell God our sins. Let us send our petition to God. Please bring your prayer to an end. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for always showing your love to us in spite of our sins. We are grateful to you for always providing our needs according to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord's Prayer. And they are children's harvest. One thing I appreciate can say, yeah, the Afore Brigham, he first receives us as our person. And Sana Waji, the way in Symbia, the Anopea, Catherine, I'm seeing the Akuma, and the Adrian, the Nipper, doing in a bedroom. Amen.
Once again, he has preserved our lives and by his grace we are up once again. And because of his love towards us, he has good things for us this day. Let us position, position ourselves to receive the very good things that he has prepared for us. We want to give opportunity to few of us to uh, call into memory uh, or from memory the memory verse for this month of October. Yeah, my quiet ma I can you see a good Yes, sir. But you memory Toso Amen. Amen. Bon semano. O fu fron susu. Okay. One, two. Now fe. Yeah. Follow the phone, mama. Si mi ansa. Si mi mba kon. O si mi ansa. Enti se mo nyani Christo e wua. O mi fe de osu. De Christo tiye ho. O nyan kupo ni fa. O nyan de osu. Amen. Amen. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. So, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden of Christ. Amen. Amen. Bonsema Anrabo. The book that we are reading for this month is First Thessalonians. We want to see if some of you can share with us one or two things uh, that we've learned. Agu, agu, by your committee. Bon semano. 
I have conferred on you the title Reverend Sister. Bonsamano, Bonsamano. Why are there, Pa? Why are there? But you said last week, so Rebbe can't, can't, Pa, Rebbe, last week. And the one, say, Mamma, you're here, who say, Mano, you're here for me, so. And the next Sunday, my husband said, Mamma, no, but I'm going to be Kenya. Was here. Now, back one, Miss Yaya, just briefly. Me person me no more channel. chapter five on verse twenty three and twenty four. Insurance and be all. Me person usum now the year you must know no asumbie nyang kupon no ente mohokra na wanisha mohom ne mokra ne mu ni pedu asumu a ehonre ma asimbiara yen eradi Yesu Christo bemu enye homa amen. And what was so twenty four? No, I made a pa or say or no quaff for any near what from no or no na or pay faithful is the one who has called us, and definitely he will do it. To no quaff for near ready our front, oh, how one man here would dab genuine, yeah, me room, I want no or pay yet. Tija, I can genuine on the jail, woman, he saw you on a quaff for a ready and come on, amen. If I your time for Bible studies, until you shall break into our groups. But you do see a question, yeah, Bible, and you bear teacher, yeah, I'll go groups. Jo Munina Montraha Munina Montra, baby, a Munia no Muteno. Lord, that was hello. Hello, 
Hello. Hello. This section of the book of Colossians begins with engaging the household as an extension of the church. The life of the Christian starts in the home where marriage and parenting are practiced. This is the place where our capacities and perspectives of nature, worship, and missions are formed and shaped. The interaction in the home is expected to portray Christian likeness. The home is indeed an extension of the church, where good Christian practices are nurtured and healthy relationships that will affect the community are built. In this study, we will explore the character of each household member, in bracket wife, husband, child, servant, or master, and how God expects life in the Christian home to be a service to the Lord. Kind introduction now. If they am here, kind introduction now. If I say key words, kind of name key words I'm fire and say, or say, the life of the Christian starts in the home where marriage and parenting is practiced. The life of the Christian starts in the home, where marriage and parenting is started. And the second one, we say, also the home is the extension of the church. The home is the extension of the church. And your first question, they say, or say, young kind Colossian book, Martinez, and say, who were tricked? Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. I say, what are the obligations of the wife in the Christian home? And what does this mean? Submit yourself to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. And then what are the obligations? Question is say, then ni or yeah as said the wo Christo fee. Now then na e each then ni or yeah as said the Christo fee and then each year. What is the obligation of the The obligation of the wife is to is to submit to the husband. Yeah, 
Eto, madun chene se, eh, se obano, ana o yire no, unu se, ni kunu no, ono ni abusuaniti. But you are saying you will be no. Be man, no need a fianity. You can say fianity. I said the Christo yen Christo nti ena yen ina yeshia wahano. Ah Christo ni ne asafuniti no. Sana a fian so so. Be man no na waye ne tre. He is the head of the family. And so no ne head of the family dia. As I say, we are born. We are submissive to the man. If the ono ena wako wa waro wa ba abekano. You want me a free. And <laughs> But and she says I eh because and this ah let's say you are quite the same as Bible ne kind no because maybe you are saying you say captains me no team trashy pumu so what you say and no you say Obani fata no mu say compare say captain mu ni na you say me ni na captain dia and they say na me peme eh say buoma yu ba mu mu si mu say say ni na kwa 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 ni mu say ni busu a peni ni ya so yes a buoma yu dey e woho. I mean, some who say, Me, me, I said, No, I mean, who say, A more problem about submission, yes, and then men also have a problem about love. Son of me, who know, submit to your own husband. I said, I own husband, one can't own boyfriend. I said, Wow, and one can say, What else? And one can say, I see your own husband. And then the first thing, I say, As it is fitting in their Lord. But as it is fitting in their Lord. Because, see, you know, you say, Christo, you say, Yeti, and I'm a boy. And you say, Jesus, you say, Christo, you say, I'm sorry. How did Christ relate to the wife? How did Christ relate to his wife? Uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. Before we continue. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. As you, wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands, as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits, 23, okay. Sorry, what are we doing? Submit to Christ. So far as we are in a relationship between Christ and his the church. So who are sorry? What do you mean for catching Christ of say? Christ of God, I do it. Who go by now? We thank God. Is that how we do it? So I sorry, they say you go by now, you pay say, and then you go on so on. The end thing you go. Is that how we? Christian home. Christian home. Okay, so you have a question too, but in this subject. Any contribution before we go to question two? You have a 
for question two in your soul. Question two says, Colossians, read from Colossians chapter 3, verse 19. What is the key responsibility of the husband? Colossians chapter 3, verse 19. Husbands. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. And so your question is, what is the key responsibility of the husband? And the Bible of Pesetia said, If you hold what you check, will be under Juma, and I said, Yes, 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 I then I'm saying another responsibility. Oh, I said, don't do not be harsh on them. And so when you say, "Sebi sebi, I am back, I am back now," I will tip pen 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 pen. And then so ma, I will send it in there. Then, a man. And then, who who send it in man? I want to harsh on her. Christian, you cut the extension of the Christian or the church from the home. The extension of the church. See your responsibility, husbands. Your responsibility is to love what. Is, is is that the case? Is it the case now? The responsibility of husbands is to love their wife. The key responsibility of a husband is to love their wife. Is, it, is that the case now? And what do we see now? How do we see this? Said the mini angel. A kaino. Son a Bible naka. In think I command. I say ye dis so and so so in the pasuna yen to yen to me ye. O babian full say, said the cast a embray and was O full say be as I say on the year home no instead of head and all yeah father no or no one bear head. Say young Francis can't be me and only the kita. He remits the home. He takes care of the kids on the other day. It will full say. But and yes, son, and your mission. That's why the fact that you can control the house, you have money, finances, you know, now yen. If you quite true, the man and I want to build that man with you, baby, a wedding. And you don't say, say, Papa, you need be no, who know, be yes, now why you say, who now yeah, but if you cry to the sense, say, oh, more catch up, massa, oh, Papa, the only issue, you know, you know, be the army, yeah, it shouldn't be, and then I pass on, I even soon. So when we go home, we are supposed to practice what we learn in the church. The husbands, let me say, husbands, husbands should love their wives. Papa can say, or say, or say, and do not be bitter towards them. Some of the passages say, do not be harsh towards them. And now, who is it? So, we, we, we spoke about Christ being the head of the church. One who said, Christ to don't know the door, you know, or don't you say, or you didn't need the church did something and something over the door, the church. Yeah, did we deserve the love of Christ? That's not doing it. Unconditionally, how to husbands are supposed to relate to how their wives are. Send a Christo do it. Now so in they love what? Unconditionally. Should we be doing so? Yes. You need to love. Alright. But you're okay. Alright. You bet me out to Any contribution? I mean, who say, Memo of problem? Me, son, I And I used to say, Memo of problem about love. It's in a stressy hall, send a bear, best send a son. Now, you depart from it. Because I say, BBI, there be a cow, a weakness. Son, I'm who, Memo weakness. Son, I'm who. 
No, stress you out. Fantastic. But you have a third question. So your third question is in Colossians chapter 3, 20 to 21. And identify the role of the children in the Christian home and explain the father's role. A two prong questions. Colossians chapter 3, 20 to 21. But you'll be a be your own kind man. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children, or they will become discouraged. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is the will. This is the well pleasing. This is well pleasing to the Lord. Twenty one. I say, fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. So then, the question is. Christian home. And then what is the role of the fathers in that matter? Hello? What are children supposed to do? We are doing children's school. What are children supposed to do? Let them repair. The least man I will know what. Pay your parents. Pay their parents. Children are supposed to obey their parents in all things. In all things. Uh, okay. But that's meant to be. Just say, Sandy, I'm going to say, 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 I'm Pia na uba angula ni na juu na kope baby tana. Ana amano se when the upbringing of the children is going on now, instead of baby taking place and disciplining the children where necessary, no, he will tell you to when wait when daddy comes. Wa expecte se papa no na omra meti ano. Inti de biya ano di onti ya. Na papa ne ti ya na chesa angula na muse as for daddy, he always punish you whatever you. When you read this, a different translation of this passage, I say, fathers, do not get to the point where I say, daddy, I've done this. Hey. I've done this. You are not encouraging the child. You are always provoking the child. I say, 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 Report in the banner or sha. Though now we expect to send or bear dear. But one yard is straight away. Who bet my condemn? Who as a father know? Who we are report when I debuff here. I'm not going to pay your fees again. And I mean, ye be as a be a mobile. And I call on a bum web. But rather, no. Share areas of so yard, you know, and I encourage you know, to do more. You want yard, you know, so what can you do about it? Say, Basset, home teacher, be nice, I will pay man, and I will be calling the teacher, I will not find out why I want to be performing that area now better, but straight away. And say, I will mark all any who say, you all ye be on, you are condemning it. A bassana, you lose confidence. Supposed to provoke their children. Fathers do not even come home and even sit with their children. Some fathers do not even come home early and sit with their children. So the children will not even get used to you. And sit early. So, dear Mama, how do you relate to train your child? 
Me who ni say, ni esu esu ni na etre etre ye weakness. Inti father so no ebia say upset about ebia issue bia ba. Sena mama kind report bia ba. Sena be man very react no. You did say that's key because why disappointed? Now we one hand in the end swa. Besa em em sha ko anin kuna in say ah. My county and Cabit when you are I'm sure of the next time. No, you know who now one can sound sweat take you upon yourself. So he needs here at his hour now. Why, 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 because who was so buono and so can you get you one one one? A business okay up program ye a be only additional classes. You should be prepared to go that extra mile. I could who I could school a master. I do it as an example. Now in time of the master, maybe I saw more colour who said example, SHS okay. Or four subjects there, when when chart this do that program so any un ya no way for to say obey pen master and make sure says I need it apart from the HN Crano or Pep Bon Modin. And obey appreciate and be man I abon modin. Colossians chapter 3, 22. Colossians chapter 3, verse 22, and then chapter 4, verse 1. What is expected? What is the expected relationship between servants and masters in a Christian home? What is the expected relationship between servants and masters in a Christian home? Anyway, Colossians chapter 3, verse 22. Verse 22. And to carry their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Amen. Verse 4 1. Masters, provide yourselves with what is right and fair, because you know that you also have a master in heaven. All things your master, obey in all things your master, your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleases, but in sincerity of heart, hearing God. 4 verse 1 or say, Masters, give your bond servants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master. The question is. First, I have to ask is, is there anything like a servant? Do we have slaves in today? Because we have slaves in today. Okay, um, if you build how far, they have house office, be a bema, a big crack garden, or more compound near day. They need somebody to cut, make the place tidy. Into a more visa, a more sour or barn swap or quack. Parents, because parents is on the page, man of power, being a manager, no made do fee. It is there must be somebody at home. They are called helpers, not necessarily servants. Relationship. What, are, what, are, what is the expected relationship there between the servants and the masters? What are the servants of? The mere fact that we are only helpers, no. Doesn't mean say we should treat them like baby slaves or differently, because I believe say those people there no only have one seven seven one macro and only one job. It is the who treat their colonial here. You also take care of the kids. If you are not crying or the man who knows every crowd on farm or baby, especially babies in here day, it's in a relationship between you and the whole person should be cordial. 
treat them like your own people. We Even when you are there or you are not there, they will treat them also nicely. But man discriminating Some of them no, they go to the extent of insulting them, they be account parents. Because only be internal they buy Amex now. But if you name Patanino, the house self and the papa no and yes, ah, at the relationship, Papa, a banner, no, and I'm so about the, the masters. You know? We're well, going to the masters, but so we can't servant in the room. So, what are servants or bond servants supposed to do? If I talk, servants, eh, Emma, eh, Papa, and I said, My men will be this is about Mamma, I can. Papa no anama menene ne te fan ya ono so fri na kuma mu nyina even so woni hokra na obeye dwuma a chen se de wo na ya na wo hokwa no de su ni ade ye ba se woni ho na se woni ne te fan ya e bia obeye no eh te se wo ye ma na ye 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 aban dwuma ne omo aye private works is it is it does it apply here so that as a servant you are supposed to be at work at as a, as, as a worker, to so employee employer relationship, as a worker, except by eight with regimen. If you have been a whole fresh, um, if I can't be fair, is that that one? Is that that one? So, we do it 10 o'clock, about 12 hours, we call lunch, lunch, buy an hour. Yes, is that that one? So, that's also part of the relationship. Employer, employee. The government of Ghana is the largest employer in the country. And then you're a master, put on. And so the servants are the employers of the company. Are they all working or living according to that relationship? They say hey, government pretends to be paying us, and the servants say they, they pretend to be working. Government, government workers say they are pretending to be working. Government says they are pretending to be paying. Is that something that I say? Yeah, 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 masters. You should know that you will father be your help. Yes, so you will master. And the servants are also supposed to be. And the hey, boss, if I boss, if I know why, that's not so. As a boss, you know what they are challenging, right? You know, who's a boss, if I know what they are challenging, is that a relationship you are talking about? But you'll be my last question. Anything last? Me, who is here? How's it happening? I said, who is here? I want to know. I want to say, oh, ho. And to where prepares Obesia and the Becassi Biano Bear, because also Benya Mufaso, or Bedu Baby, a doca Cosuma, and Boko School, Faso and Subiano, and to both a union of Biawi and Yonko. And the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Somebody is free to express him or herself. Nothing holds you. Nothing holds you. God is greater than our, our hearts and what we think about. God is greater. The giver of the spirit is greater than our hearts. <laughs> Hakodesh Ruach Hakodesh Breath and the Spirit of the Lord Ruach Hakodesh 
Ruach HaKodesh Please come and do all we do in vain Ruach HaKodesh Ruach HaKodesh Breath and the Spirit of the Lord oh, 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 oh. Ruach HaKodesh Ruach HaKodesh Spirit of truth, the spirit of liberty, breath of the spirit. you want him to do what is it God my heart I don't want to get angry that easily I don't want to be hurt that easily
Hallelujah. As a Jane come, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run over will be poured into your laps. For with the measure you give, it will be measured to you. Amen. Amen. Psalm 50, verse 14. Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the most high. Amen. It's Psalm 62, verse 5. He alone is my rock and my salvation. Psalm 62, verse 1. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 7, verse 10. Salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne. Revelation chapter 7, verse 10. Amen. Amen. A. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Amen. Amen. Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And say it again. Rejoice. Philippians 4, verse 4. Amen. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. Trust the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Amen. Amen. James 1, 17, 8. Every good and perfect gift is from Abba. Thank you. Psalm 50, verse 23. Those who sacrifice thank offerings, honor me, and to the blameless, I will show my salvation. Thank you. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Amen. Amen. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. Amen. Amen. John chapter 4, verse 12. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. Amen. Amen. Marabono, one, two. Marabono. Marabono, my Our first Bible we will be taking from Psalm 50, verse 14 and 15, and then verse 23. Please, let's hear the word of God. Let the giving of thanks be a sacrifice to God, and give the Almighty all that he promised. Call to me when trouble comes, I will save you, and you will praise me. Verse 23. Giving thanks is the sacrifice that honors me, and I will surely save you, O baby. This is the word of God. Our second Bible reading is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 5. Our brothers and sisters, we want you to know that God's grace has accomplished in the churches in Macedonia. They have been severely tested by the troubles they went through. 
But their joy was so great that they were extremely generous in their giving, even though they are poor, very poor. I can assure you that they gave as much as they could, and even more than they could. Of their own free will, they begged us and pleaded for the privilege of having a part in helping God's people in Judea. It was more than we could hope for. First, they gave themselves to the Lord, and then by God's will, they gave themselves to us as well. This is the word of God. Amen. First offering.
Our third Bible reading is taken from Mark chapter 12, verse 41 to 44. Please let's hear the word of God. As Jesus sat near the temple treasury, he watched the people as they dropped in their money. Many rich men dropped in a lot of money. Then a poor widow came along and dropped in two little copper coins worth about a penny. He called his disciples together and said to them, I tell you that this poor widow put more in the offering box than all the others. For the others put in what they had to spare of their riches. But she, poor as she is, put in all she had. She gave all she had to live on. This is the word of God. This will sing Presbyterian hymn number P A three three eight one two three. Tell the preacher prepares to give us the sermon. Hallelujah. Today is children's harvest. And the theme is blessing of God in giving. If you think about 
children's harvest. Um, you may think it is for the children to give something to God, or is the day the day is for the children. But it's not like that. This is important service, very important service. Why? I want you to compare yourself to the case that you were like this. And if you were like this, and today you are here. Look at the vast improvement and the blessings that Lord has given you. So today's harvest is more than the main harvest. We need to give to God for what he has done in our lives. You were like these children. I look at you. You have names. Your names have been changing. You have positions. You were like this. Who kept you? Who protected you to this age? So if, if you are about to count your age from children, um, children start, um, the last age is 12. Not a children's service. So if you, if you will count your age from 12 years to the date, and you are giving God hundreds it is each year. What will you give? But we have to. If you need a blessing from God, that is the thing. Please let us pray. Thank you, Father, for being with us since the beginning of the service. We appreciate you. Now it's time for your word of ministration. We need you, Lord. Master, speak to us. Speak through me. And help us to understand your word. So that we live with more blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Like I was saying. Children's harvest. Is a big harvest in a man's life. A Christian's life. Because. If you, rem you remember that you were 12 years. Let me say that. 12 years. Because from 12, you get into teenage. You were 12 years. Even 12 years, you know so many things. You can bath. And um, you can bath yourself. You can sometimes wash your clothes. Except the white ones. But if you think back from womb, when you came out from your mother's womb, who kept you? At that time, even your parents didn't understand your language. You couldn't speak. If you want to sing, you cry. If you need mommy, you cry. If you need father, you cry. You cry. Crying was your language. But your God made your parents understand you. Up to today. When you are about four or five years, you, you want to try to bath yourself. You just bath your stomach. You finish bathing. Nobody taught you how to suck a breast. Nobody taught you how to crawl. It's not only that. But it left with one thing. Nyamedo. Tell somebody Nyamedo. You have kept by the power of God. 
Ghana ya se children's service. And I want you to know what say. I saw about 10 cities in my Obano. Not about for the way children's service in the church say. As I say, you should say, now you 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 say, now so, so for the way saying, yes, you catch a main harvest. Why? According to Psalm 50, 14, and 15, sacrifice thanks offering to God for free your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. So today is there good day for everybody to give thanks offering. And you will be delivered. Onyanko pong asemnio Se ye bona for dear se ye kan u shani nina ye shano u kosku kura u tiche bebu se u nina ve edayin. Ye musa kura woka. Ye misa kura woka. And he said, Okay, can you be a bemoa? So, what can I say? We need to have a one hour and not children's harvest. Kaisana Usana, I can say we need to have a wow. Number one for the remember that. Remember the vow. It's good for us to pay thanks offering, and thanks offering is also a prayer. In fact, it is a prayer that answers immediately. Empire and Yamitian and Tempire for the ball. If you read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation, Empire and Yamitian and Tempire and for the ball. And for the end, yeah, oh boy, yeah, no, Akasa. If you want God to speak to you today, if you want God to come into your life, come into your family, give Him thanks offering, give more. And you see the glory of God. He said you will honor him. Only by giving him thanks offering. You honor him. That is Psalm 50, 15. Psalm 50, 15. Jesus Christ did so for a purpose. Telling all the Christians around that. The widow's might was higher than all that they gave. He did for he did so for a purpose. The amount that they cast in, not the amount that they cast in, but rather how it was cast in. How and why is the question. How and why? That is why I'm giving you purpose to give. That the Lord has kept me. Kept me. What is your aid today? Remember and give. And why and how you are giving will please God. Make an ostentatious display of their gift is order that all may know how much it was. And the woman was a poor. Poor woman. And what she gave was the smallest Greek copper coin. Smallest Greek copper coin. Capreba took them. Capreba. Orlando Munim Capre. So we need to give to God today. If you don't know anything to base on, I've given you an example that you were a kid. And now you are a man, you are a woman, you are a lady, you are a gentleman, you are uncle now. Brother Penny, Sister Penny, aunties, and above all, you are a mother and you are a father. And a gracious age, you are a grandpa, you are a grandmother. What are you giving today? 
you compare yourself that you were like your grandchild and now you're still alive seeing your children's children what are you giving to God in replace of what he has done for you giving you a healthy life not only that he has helped you to know him Lord has helped you to know him you know where you are before being a Christian remember that and give to him not only that he has given you an opportunity to be in his service in his presence today it's so marvelous so we need to give to God. There are many. You can't count them. You can't count these blessings. It's too many for you to count. So you need to give to him. Jesus Christ. Compared the coin. To dollars that. Many may give him. And look at what Paul. Was identifying Macedonia. It, it was not only that. That was the third, the third visit of Paul to Macedonia, Philippi, Thessalonica, and Berry. There was something. It was a greatly um, impoverished due to political and military problems. Sabre na ku ku asi Tina ma ohia aba omoso But Paul collected money for the impoverished believers in Jerusalem The churches in Macedonia, Philippi, Thessalonica and Berea had given money even Though they were poor and they had sacri sacrificially given more than Paul expected. Although they were poor themselves, they wanted to help. The amount we give is not as important as why and how. And then, the 15th of October 2023. Say, for the end. Na Yenya GDS say, O Yame Yano Kafo, Nadia Wakan in there, say, a bona for the Obey Obey Yendia. According to Psalm 50, verse 23, those who sacrifice thanks offering honor me. And to the blameless, I will show my salvation. Everybody, but you won't cry. No, won't go. The last thing I want to give to you that you understand the purpose of today's service and you can give more than you are prepared is that do you want God to keep this case to grow like us? Do you? want God to sustain the children's service in Presbyterian Church of Ghana? In Methodist today, Methodist also is doing a children's harvest. I, I have to preach there and I I'm in hurry to go there by all means. Compare yourself to the kids and give to God that so God can keep this is to grow well. Do you want God to bless your descendants so that your home will be called a Christian home? When you are alive, all oh, you are no more. Everybody, all your descendants, those unborn, may be Christians. Do you want that? If you want that, you need to give today to God. If you don't have money here, you can write a check, you can write a note that I'm giving today 
for my descendants. Those in abroad, those in home, those in schools. I'm giving thanks offering to God as a covenant that he may bless my descendants. And this prayer will work immediately that you brought your thanks offering. But say, I did a chat to me, but I wish I don't so ne say. So what per se? What nana nom? Zia uhu on ne? What maya uhu on ne? What muni? I be yet to say yai. Na children service. Eka Presbyterian safumu. Na ka Christian mu. Na kwadaya Christo fwadia. And ya bafwadia ne? Bafwadia sene may harvest. Bafwadia sone ngon. They are one cabin share mu. O pesa wa se fwadia Christo fwo. Who was she? O pesa wa se fwadia Christo fwo. What ya se? O pesa wa gunu se wa se fwo a ya Christo fwo. And ya children harvesti. Children's harvesti. E mu na ba ba fwadia nwa kachira vya de se. Na me ti se yi. O ma me nyini na me pesa. Ma se fwo ti se yi nyini. Na wa ngwa ya nyangu wo nyina. Ya wu wambe to yesu mojem. So that they may be protected. And the last thing I'm giving to you, whatever must happen in your life to make you joyful, but it is delaying, is here. I'm here to release by the anointing of Jesus Christ. And I declare the speedy manifestation of God to you. That everything that you need from God today, and everything that is delaying, everything that you are waiting for, will come to you. They will come to you. Things will happen to your life. And you live in a joyful way. My God and the Lord will give you when you give. Because today is harvest and your harvest is a prayer. Pray through your money and your God will answer you. Amen. So what can be be with three more? The person may know boss on fire. What's the should be and you don't have the free fee by ya? I don't know person may know boss on fire. Na me je me je ready this set. The work catcher me no obey ye. In fact, as I say, service here children's harvest in tea. And now over for the one more for the obey ye say shira ibi. If we so be a for the obey shira. Once I yadi bo ni suwa obi di bi ba tu mune di e obi ora bi a obey ye shira. The person who bought him the wasi fo ni na ajuni e ba bought him. And this time. I want you to own your family, not your family owns you. Be pesa o fo obu suani ya wotia. Na me bo sampa ye ima. E ba ni yakopo aya bo wani ma no pay ye be bo afode ye. E na for the boy yan kwada afode ye chere se. Ya wo yan no ni esu sha. Na o ma won an na wo ho nyansa ma wo de share ye. Ya wo fo ni won an ya wo fo. Ya chere chere fo ni asofo. E ni asaf mu mpani atete ya bedru ne. Ya ni mo fre ni na e ko ya chi. Abaya mo fra ba for di ane edi ya se fwa ba wani mse ye pobu siya for di ane se ma enkwada amre fi enkwada ni mu ma di on yo wa waria wa ma ya mo ne mo fra ya wo wonso wo nyang kwantena se udin Jesus nti amen de wati ni na wai na udin edi.
Hallelujah. As soon as you come, a week today, I presented you our target for this children's harvest, 50,000 Ghana cities. Please, those who can help us give an amount of 500 Ghana cities above can bring it. Ebi ana wo de ani ye bombo ohun ye de number no e to so ta mo nti ye ntimi nka de akora ne kan se 500 from ra we mra but akoda na kan se mo akyere wo nti 500 be kura betim de atam se 10 so maka se kan wo fie na for the afibi 100 cities e te de mo mo number na to so mo ma ye nyom na ye mo for de mu odu ne 50000 no e ba ye 500000 hallelujah Amen. Be cheerful, but I'm be. Oh, but I'm. Yes, I'm a brilliant. I want ten for number. Be cheerful, but I'm be. Oh, but I'm. Oh, 
Income. I was here for Yaya, a person, a bar for dear, and I'm your phone, so Momo no. You made my announcement here, I'll be to me. I hear Patron were projecting number knee na yet to me at the abo for the end. Well dressed to be our dresser, pa. Small girl, Baji, and one address of power. Mom was some man. We are on the sketch now to say one address of power. Born some man. Born some man. Born some man. Born some man. Papa, me das. Today is Children's Harvest Sunday. On behalf of Session, I wish to welcome you all to today's divine service, especially to those worshiping with us for the first time. It is our prayer that the good Lord will continue to guide and protect us. Amen. Next week, 22nd October 2023, is a presentation of the financial statement of the church. Treasurer, please, group leaders, see treasurer and then collect the financial statement that we are going to present to the church. So that you can go through and then when we come next week, it's basically going to be on this. You can ask your questions and other things. So we want group leaders to <coughs> see treasure behind the church and then you take your copies. Group leaders. And then president, if you are president or secretary, whoever you a group leader, please see treasure now and take your copy. Thank you. There will be two services. The first service starts at 7 a.m. and the second continues 9.30 a.m. Restoration Voices Singing Ministry invites you to its annual program that highest praise under the theme True Worship, John 4, 23 to 24. The program is scheduled for Sunday, 29th October at 4.30 p.m. at this church auditorium. 
Please be informed of the following activities at follows. 22nd October is the presentation of the financial accounts of the church. 29th October is the induction of a Santi Presbytery chairperson. 5th November is main harvest. 12th November is communion. 19th November is Asempatre at New Adriampong. Please let us take note and prepare accordingly. Please note that on the 29th October and 5th November, we will have one service at the new chapel for both the induction and the main harvest respectively. To be part of 29th October, I a chairperson induction, a bear a new chapel, and I may have a on 5th November. Bible study facilitators are calling on members who are interested in leading the Sunday Bible study to join them. You can see Mr. Paul Parkon or Dr. Boatini Makon. The free will offering boxes are placed at the entrance of the church. Members can donate today and throughout the week. Free will cement donation is still ongoing. Members can still donate, and those who have promised but have not redeemed theirs are reminded to do so. You can even use the Momo account of the church to do it. Ramsey and Sempa comes on your way every Wednesday on 92.1 MHz Garden City Radio from 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. Please, members are to take note and listen to it. All groups will be meeting this week. So tomorrow men's fellowship will be meeting from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. YPG will meet after the first service at Reverend G.A. Kufoho. Monday morning prayers continues tomorrow, 16th October 2023 from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. And then line time with Jesus continues from Monday to Friday from 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. Because next week will be financial reading to the church, the uh, first and second service, Papa will give us exhortation, and then Mr. Moses Sefri Fasechre will lead the service. This is how the attendance was last week. The total was 509. Offerings, VTO 1,300. Project offering 10,434.70 pesos. Our normal offering 7,656.70 pesos. Thight 47,527. Prejudice on duty. Miss Shelley Osei Tutu, Mrs. Tabri Mensah, Mr. Felix Ameyao, and Dr. Eric Palmer Ameni. Funra. In the hope of resurrection, we announce to you the passing away of Ms. Akosia Akwabua, the wife of Mr. Benjamin Opare. There will be no one week observation. The funeral date is on 4th November 2023. If we close and you want to go and visit our brother Benjamin Opare, you can visit our brother at Bremen UGC. Bremen UGC, you go there and visit our brother. Soko Maimon. Okay. They say Sokoba. He gave me Bremen. That is why. Okay. They say Sokoba. Thank you. At Bremen. Okay. Thank you. So when we close, individual can go and visit our brother Benjamin Opari. Please, if today is the first time you are worshiping with us, we want to know you better. Pacho said, any day they can only assume I perceive who ye. Tim Pacho, Brandy Mumay. Send any day they can only assume. Pacho, I perceive who ye. To add that on my brain, you have said my own. Okay. Obi and Hodi are the Yamians. But you are some number two. Please let us pray. Let us pray for our country, Ghana. Let us pray for the peace of God to reign in Ghana.
Please let us pray for the Presbyterian Church. God, please help us win more tools. Let us pray committing our business unto God, that God should bless our work. Our dear Lord and Father, we thank you for hearing and answering our intercessory prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Kramhiman, <laughs> challenges <laughs> Oh, your baby, because okay. You patch a who will be only will be pa now, Bussy and even up as a man, a special letter now. What about boy, I'm for Renoir, the patch who I am, your baby, my baby, who pay. You only will be up as a man, a special invitation, no baby, I am, a kind of. Please we'll sing Presbyterian hymn number five two seven one two two P H five two seven one two two I had no more do noon of us know that there is a war between Israel and Hamas. Let me see you by hand. 
Jewish Christo Islamic. A Christo for only Jew for our fancies. I know that I mentioned no echo. Say, I'm a man named Chantema Oil Bobaya Dim Papa. Gana for crowd, Nana Mutti, a hand, you bump by a noble quancy. That was Israel. And it's also a prophecy. Yes, in the man whom Pumpuyan were been a Ben Beno. Timestra say, Ya, Bohumpai, Ya, who news, why, ya, Tia news. Na yanka yenu anu msusua. Akoso mo mfau he newsa. Ushe baby and the person no musi bra. Let us remember those those who have that challenge of the flooding because of the spillage of the akoso mo water. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. It's been a nice time having fellowship with you and with each other. We thank you for the children leading us to give. Uh, unto your cause. We pray you to be with us throughout that we protect us. We pray for Ghanaians who are troubled in Israel and Gaza. Uh, we pray that Lord lift up your hand upon this wall. We pray that God cause this wall to cease. We pray also for our brothers and sisters who are in trouble because of flooding, especially in the parts of the Volta region and other regions. We pray you to help them to be resettled. Be with all of us and protect us from the evil one. Uh, bless us and keep us. And I mean the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.
Shoes, stand on my toes, dance at the 